Hey, my babies, my soul tribe, my darlings. It's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. <laughs> welcome, babies. Welcome, welcome, newbies in between them. Oh, geez. Okay. I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. I'm always sending each and every one of you guys so much love, healing, good vibes, okay? And I am so grateful for all of your love, support, all of your donations too that you give me. Oh my God. And I am deeply appreciative of all of the energy exchange, darlings, okay? I do want to remind you guys that my readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into my readings, it will resonate accordingly. And just remember to only take what resonates out of the message, darlings, okay? I am just blessed. And I am deeply appreciative. And I want you guys to know that of each and every one of you guys. And I'm not always able to comment back because I am so busy and I am also raising two beautiful boys. But know that every time you comment, every time you like, every time you share, every time you show me love, even if the video does not resonate at that point in time, and you still show love, know that I am giving it back a thousand fold, babies. And for each and every one of my readings, you will be protected me as well, by Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael, from any evil eye magic or any negative energy or entities that want to beguile or to hinder us in any way. We send it back a thousand fold. Amen, darlings. So let's get to the reading. Hey, my babies. Hey, my darlings. How are you today? Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your love, all of your support, all of the good vibes you send your girl. You know I send it back times 10, times 10, times 10. You know I'm always sending you love, healing, and protection energy. Thank you for all of your likes, your comments, your shares, your support. Thank you. Thank you for coming to me for your information, your confirmation, your motivation, and your inspiration. You know I always got you, boo. You know I do. Please only take what resonates out of the readings and leave the rest. And a reminder that my readings are timeless, so whenever you peer into my readings, they will resonate accordingly with my loves. All right, it is retrograde, Mercury retrograde, so I might be tripping over my words a little bit or stuttering, maybe. Just a heads up. But I love you guys. I appreciate all of you. I miss you when I'm gone. When I'm busy, basically. I'm always having each and every one of you in my prayers. My daily and nightly prayers. And I thank you for all of your love and support. It means the world. Thank you for all of your donations as well. It truly helps. Definitely. I love and appreciate all of you. And I love getting on here and connecting with you guys, vibing with you. And thank you for not judging me for being one busy bee because I'm not always able to comment back. And I do feel bad about that. But, you know, my spirit team is like, please don't feel bad, Kyra. You got a lot going on. And those that truly, genuinely have love for you will understand. And that is true. But we're going to get right to the reading, babies. All right, I'm asking my loved ones, God, first and foremost, my angels, ancestors, spirit team, passed on loved ones, deities, and reaches that covered me and the collective to please protect us from any evil eye, negative energy, projection, black magic, gins or demons that want to be or that are being sent towards us. Please return it to sender times 10,000 and please block any interferences as I'm giving this reading. Okay, I know I say it twice, but it's better and it's nice. Okay, <laughs> let's see what's going on, my babies. What's going on, spirit? 
All right, something involving a distorted masculine. Ooh, I'm hearing this person is upset, baby. They abuse their power, they're forceful, they're dominant, they fear weakness, they're in competition, they're competition driven, and they have an inability to praise another. So I feel like um, either distorted masculinity or a distorted masculine is watching you and they are highly, highly pissed. Mm -hmm. Because they wanted to stop you by any means necessary. But you are unstoppable, baby. Okay? This is someone that could be in your family. This could be a brother. Okay? A friend that you call brother is also what I'm hearing. This could be a sibling. Why I say that? Because we have the fourth house. And it says, one sense of security, family, siblings, parents, ancestry, heritage, roots, one housing or comfort. So this could be someone that is in your family, okay? Is what I'm hearing. Or someone that thought that they were going to build a family with you. What's going on with this distorted masculine? Sorry with the confirmation burps. <laughs> Ooh, child. Yeah, they salty, boo-boo. They salty. This person wanted to tear your self-esteem down. Um... They wanted to keep the slander, the gossip, the rumors going that they made up about you. It's like this person had a whole plan on basically tearing you down. And I feel like even to this day, this person still is trying to tear you down, but they fucking salty, boo. <laughs> I told you they was bad and upset. You know what I'm saying? Like, the gifts is getting stronger, boobs. The gifts is getting stronger. But, uh, yeah, they mad. Because I feel like you are with your high-level soulmate, your twin flame. Yep, or you soon will be. And they mad. Because this distorted masculine wanted to come back into your life to ruin you. And God was like, the fuck I think not motherfucker okay no it's not happening <laughs> so sit your salty ass the fuck over there while the collective go and unite or reunite with their twin flame higher level soulmate i feel like you have come into union or you will be in union with someone that absolutely loves you and all these distorted masculines that wanted to come in and try to play in your energy Try to stop you from true love. Try to fuck up your finances. Trying to put hexes, curses, you know, doing sexual magic and all types of, you know what I'm saying, lame ass shit on you. It's over. Okay? It's over, boo boo. Family members, friends, okay, exes, yeah. Their fake asses cannot come the fuck back. Period is what I'm hearing. It says, someone who isn't themselves to gain friends and popularity. Yeah. Clout-hungry-ass whores is what I heard. Yeah, this masculine is a clout-hungry-ass whore that sleeps with men and women to get ahead. Okay? This person has all types of demons swirling within them. All right? And they thought that they were going to come into your energy and release one of those demons onto you. Bitch, never. You are covered by the most high. For now and forever. The fuck? All right? It says, they seem very nice to everyone, yet trash talks you behind your back in order to improve their social status. Exactly. It's like, this person gains popularity off of tearing you down, bitch. Not no more. Because the people that they were basically trying to pin against you is now, you know, in favor of you. Oh, how the tables have turned or how the curveballs be being thrown in this motherfucker. <laughs> okay, we have the third house. It says how one processes knowledge, communication, generosity, and, you know, a social life. Yeah, like, you are exposing these fake-ass, pathetic-ass, lame-ass, distorted masculines. And they salty as fuck because they're stalking you. That's why and how they know but not only are they stalking you the person that and the people okay so it's a person and people 
For some of y'all, it's a person. For others of y'all, it's people. But I really feel like this person and other people that they sent towards you to cyber bully you, to gang stalk you, to try to like use you as a form of a sacrifice. It's like these people are now favoring you because you're more powerful than all of these trash ass lames put together. Especially whoever this um, distorted masculine is. I keep about to say divine masculine. It's like this distorted masculine really wanted you to be confused to think that they were your, that, see what I'm talking about with the retrograde? <laughs> this distorted masculine wanted you to be confused to think that they were your true divine masculine because I am like literally always about to say divine masculine, but I'm, I'm being stopped every time. This is not your divine masculine. This is a fucked up, lame, loser ass, distorted masculine that is salty as fuck that you figured their fake ass the fuck out and you're exposing them, okay? And the reason how and why they know this is because they can't stop stalking your ass, okay? Period. Someone's stalking you on social media. So you could be exposing these trifling ass distorted masculines on social media and it's your right to do so. The fuck is what I heard. Often checking up on you, keeping tabs, watching you. Yeah. This is definitely like your family, your person's family, friends you call family, or like distorted masculines that wanted to get you pregnant or, you know, wanted to get pregnant by you. Ain't gonna happen, motherfuckers. <laughs> Like, a lot of you guys have reconnected with your high-level soulmate, your twin flame. Or you will. And even if you're single, you're above these people. You have been mastered the lessons that these people came to teach you. And you're not going backwards, boo-boo. You're going forward. The fuck they thought. Distorted masculine? What's going on here? Yeah, <laughs> intimidated. Well, take your intimidated, pathetic ass and keep the fuck pushing, is what God is saying. So they are looking, evil-eyeing you, and it's literally just bouncing off of your beautiful auric field and hitting their trifling asses. All of the evil-eyeing, any type of magic. Um, this person thought that they were going to come back towards you and manipulate you, but they're stalking you, realizing that you're hit to their pussy-ass games. Period. You're hip to their games because they're nothing but a pussy. A puss puss is what I heard. Okay? So stay your trifling, pathetic, lame, intimidated pussy ass the fuck over there. Because what I'm hearing is, you know, your ancestors say, if you think that you're going to try to stop the collective, bitch, we're going to stop you way before you going to try that nut ass shit again, okay? So this person definitely tried to sacrifice you, did some type of hoogly boogly magic on you, you know, could have come into your world in the past and disturbed you, you know, like they were an intrusion, an interference, okay? A distraction. That shit ain't going down no more is what I heard. <laughs> Mad and upset, salty. Salty much, man. Salty much. Yeah, because you walked away. Exactly. <laughs> and you're not returning. Some of these distorted-ass masculines actually thought that you would chase them, that you would actually be the one to be calling them or hitting them up because these distorted-ass masculines are trying to manifest you. And the shit is being blocked. Okay? So if these distorted-ass masculines or masculine thought that you were going to reconcile or you were going to hit them up or you were going to out of the blue, you know, contact them because they're trying to conjure you up. Bitch, it ain't going to happen. It's not happening. The fuck? If this was, you know, a sibling, you're not fucking with this sibling anymore. Period. If this was a father figure, you're not fucking with this father figure anymore. Period. If this is someone that you have children with or a child with, and they were on this trifling type time, you're not fucking with them. You don't give a shit if you do have a kid with them. The kid probably don't even care about their existence any fucking way. Because 
if you're, you know, a mother or a father, you're the one that is sitting up here raising, loving, comforting, and nurturing that child. The fuck? Fake? What's going on here? Fake. It's like the reading before this is your divine masculine, your higher level soulmate. And then this reading is a distorted, trifling ass masculine that is pressed and desperate. For some of you, it's multiple masculine energies, family, friends, and exes. For others of you, it's just an ex, a spouse, okay, and family. But it's like, <laughs> this reading is about these distorted ass trash motherfuckers. And then the reading previous to that is about your true divine counterpart, higher level soulmate. Yeah, they're trying to control you, bitch. Stop playing. You cannot be controlled. <laughs> you cannot be controlled. Like, these people be crazy as hell. Um, constantly needing control of people, things, and situation. Yeah. And you kick they fake ass right to the curb. Okay? Period. Like, you will not be the fuck control over here. I don't know what these people thought. Okay? So, for some of you, it could be multiple distorted masculines. I don't know what these motherfuckers thought. Um, third house, clarify third house. What's going on? Yeah, trying to finesse you, trying to just mooch off of you, trying to act as if they are kind or generous so that they can get more on the back end from you, bitch. We see you, ho. <laughs> we see right through you. Okay, and I feel like the we is your ancestors, and then they give you the downloads, and then you are starting to peep the red flags, or you peep the red flags, and you walked away. Like, you saw right through these distorted masculines. They are nothing but clout-hungry, mooching ass, self-absorbed, selfish, controlling, pathetic lames. And I'm going to keep it a B. Some of these motherfuckers even fake flex, living beyond their means for motherfuckers that could care less about them. That's the crazy part, okay? These people act as if they have a social life, like they're actually doing something in life, but it's all a fucking lie. It's all a facade. And you saw right through them. They're mooching ass hoes. Some of these people trick off on men and women to get money. I'm gonna be real with you. Someone who survives off of another's income. One who even if they have their own money will use someone else's. Yeah, selfish ass motherfuckers these are the type of people that will duck them and fuck them these are the type of people that will come in you know use your sexual energy do some type of you know sexual magic on you to harvest off of your energy or this is the type of person that will only fuck you or deal with you for some type of exchange or benefit and you were like if y'all don't get the fuck out my face that's how you feel collective <laughs> Like, stop playing. I feel like in the past you might have fell victim to this because you needed to continue to heal and to step into your self-worth and to realize that you are way more than these motherfuckers and you deserve way more than what they were ever willing to give you because a lot of these relationships ain't even get off the ground. A lot of these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, were breadcrumbing. A lot of you guys, when it comes to these people, you are fantasizing what shoulda, coulda, woulda, but was never going to fucking happen. Not with these motherfucking distorted ass masculines. If this is a brother of yours, maybe you thought you would have had a closer relationship, but this motherfucker was in competition with you from start to finish and is still in competition with you. And you don't want no fucking parts. Okay? type of person always got their fucking hand out like no i'm cool no okay it's the fucking answer stalking yeah because you ain't for the shit <laughs> you are not for the shits period not with the childish games has priority straight and not willing to downgrade for no fucking body not family, not friends, not no fucking exes that want to spin the block, not for new fucking people that think that they're going to play in your face. It's N-O class. How do we spell no? N-O, motherfuckers. No. 
Hell yeah, you know all these motherfuckers got hidden agendas. And I feel like it's multiple distorted masculines that you have walked away from. And they saw this shit. It's like these people actually thought <laughs> that you were weak. And you know what the funny part is? None of these motherfuckers brought anything to your life. So how do they even have the fucking audacity to think that you are not going to walk away? Bitch! Half of these, all of these, okay, because some of these people, you know, were generous because they wanted something on the back end. So they might have did something for you because they wanted something more from you on the back end, spiritually or, you know, manipulating their way of getting it. And some of these other people, distorted masculines, ain't do, ain't never choose to ain't never was going to, ain't never show you, ain't do shit for you. So how the fuck do their egotistical, delusional ass think that you are actually not going to walk away? Motherfuckers be real ego driven. Like, it's not even funny. And all these motherfuckers have hidden agendas. Like, stop fucking playing. Okay, a distorted masculine can also be a woman in her masculine energy. Okay, it's not always just a man. You know, tarot is gender fluid. Ooh, child. It says, pay attention to this person because they have other plans and the ones they have revealed. Exactly, like, bitch, you don't stop fucking playing. <laughs> stop fucking playing. Stop playing. Like, they can sit up there and stalk you and be intimidated all they want. But they better not fucking try it is what I heard. Again or period. Shit. Because you are here looking good, smelling good, doing good. Got your shit together, boo thing. Don't you allow these motherfuckers back in. Forgive them and keep them motherfuckers at a distance. That's what you do. Okay, boo boo? That's what you do. Because some of these people will try to play off of your empathy. Fuck all that. You already saw these people's true colors. Don't be, you know what I'm saying, ignorant towards it, baby. Distorted, intimidated. What's going on here? Oh! 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 The devil themselves. I can't make this shit up. They're karmic masculines. A lot of these masculines have demon attachments, Jezebel attachments, because I heard that they go both ways, but they'll do anything for money. They'll even trick off of men and women sexually to get ahead. I can't make this shit up. The devil. Okay? All to get ahead, to get attention, to have fame and celebrity status for some of these people. Like, they trifling. <laughs> some of these people actually thought that they were going to, like, use you or stay attached to you, bitch. Keep dreaming. That's the problem. Some of these motherfuckers did come into your dreams. Try to attach themselves into your dreams. I'm hearing a spiritual husband, bitch. Them ties are severed. The fuck they thought. Okay? And then you have family members and, and some of these people, friends, that just wanted to stay attached to you because you are definitely guaranteed to win in all aspects of your life. Period. It's guaranteed. All the while, they have hidden agendas. They the ops. They the enemies intimidated by you, trying to one-up you, trying to steal your creativity. Bitch. Some of these people can't even move without looking at you to see what the fuck you got going on. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Stop playing. Salty, walking away. They wait for you to post to see what they can steal. Bitch, bye. Yeah, wanted to compete. It's over, bitches. Okay, it's over. We got Capricorn Energy, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. It's over, bitches. So have several seats with your salty asses and keep it the fuck pushing. Or the consequences will just keep getting steeper for y'all trifling asses. Like, fake controller. Hell yeah. I told you they was in their ego. Motherfuckers be ego tripping. And don't even deserve to do so. Like, motherfuckers have the audacity. Ego tripping to try to control you, thinking that you were never going to, like, cut these motherfuckers off. And the fucking audacity is... Some of these people ain't never did shit for you, have come in and out of your life, used you, abused you, talked about you, competed against you, never supported you, and actually egotistically 
convince themselves that you were never going to walk away. You were never going to dis disassociate yourself from these trifling ass fucking masculine energies. Like, <laughs> I'm fucking hollering, man. It's like these motherfuckers had one foot in, one foot out. Bread the fuck out of you. Okay? And when you woke up to your self-worth and stepped fully into your power as you are in, you're like, I don't need none of y'all motherfuckers. What you thought, bitch? It was actually a blessing and a privilege to be around you. That's the truth here. You the one that deserved to be ego tripping, but you don't. You're humble. You're humilitant. Third house and moocher. Exactly. Off of what you got going on when it comes to your finances. Your career, bitch. Stop fucking playing. You ain't getting a piece of the motherfucking pie. Okay? The collective is move, moving up like George and Wheezy is what I heard. But y'all asses will get left the fuck behind. What y'all thought? Like, people, <laughs> people actually think that they're going to have hidden agendas. And it's spiritual beings. God, first and foremost, that's watching these nut asses. Sit up here, plot, plan, and scheme against you. And they actually think that these plans are going to go through. Like, y'all motherfuckers sit up here and forget that it's a higher power. Constantly watching all of us. Writing down our good and bad deeds. Recording the good karma or the bad karma that we are deserving of. Like, what the actual fuck? That's what I'm saying. These motherfuckers... Be thinking they above God. Y'all stupid. Y'all let fucking demon and entities convince y'all that y'all are above God. Bitches, sit the fuck down somewhere, yo. Because God is going to sit that ass down. Why do you think the devil hate God? Because God is more powerful than the devil and will always be. Okay? Shit. These motherfuckers hate that you shining and you ain't going to stop. <laughs> And every time you post a picture, every time you post a video, every time you pop out, you look better and better and better. Because when you go hermit, you do your inner work. You do your healing. You don't just, you know, go hermit and cry to yourself and not do the fucking inner work. No, you actually reflect. Do your shadow work. You heal. You get therapy. You go, for some of you, to get professional help. Like... And motherfuckers be thinking that you stuck and you miserable and, you know, you're hermiting because you're going through something. No, pussy ass motherfuckers. The collective is actually working on themselves. That's why when they pop out, they look better than y'all trifling asses. Because the devil is sucking the life out of each and every one of your distorted asses. And God is giving life to the collective. <laughs> Period. And everything that y'all thought that y'all took is being given back to the collective plus the blessings that y'all trifling asses could have fucking worked for, but you didn't, okay? Stalking and groan. Hell yeah. They stuck. They sacrificed themselves. Dum-dums. That's exactly what I heard. They dumb. They sacrificed themselves coming for you. They sacrificed themselves not, you know, appreciating you being in their lives having good intentions towards you, period, yeah, constantly attacking you, attacking you, attacking you, and doing this impulsively, not even thinking twice about the repercussions, and some of these people got kids, they don't even fucking care about how their kids are going to be affected by this shit, and the sad part is, some of these people, their kids are going to take the brunt of what was being sent towards you. So if people were sending you death spells or, you know, poverty spells or, you know, sending you gins or demons, it, the sad part is it's being sent back to their children for some of them. That's the crazy part. Because it's not going to affect you, boo-boo. It's not, it never was. These people were put into your life so that you can clear them the fuck out this lifetime and move on towards your purpose. Okay? That's what, what, what it was, what it is. What is happening. And the devil energy here. What's going on? Hell yeah! You know what, baby, baby, baby? Baby, boo! 
You the one. Damn, victory. The chariot, hell yeah, overcome these trifling ass, distorted, karmic, devil ass, or devil attached. These motherfuckers got demons attached to them, boo boo. Because some of these people have sold their souls. Some of these people made pacts with demons. And what they don't fucking realize or they fail to realize that you have demons and angels that respect you. It's like they make the pact with these demons, right? And the demons be like, yeah, yeah, we're going to get the collective. We're we going to tear them down. And as soon as they stop basically, you know, conversing with this demon after, like, all right, prime example. They'll converse and, and, and conjure up a demon and they'll make a pact. As soon as, you know, they made the pact, the demon already knows that they can't come after you. They already know that you're anointed. They already know that God is protecting you. But they are going to beguile whoever this dumb ass is to get their soul. So that's why they sacrifice themselves with the hangman. I can't make this shit up. And you're moving right along <laughs> with not a fucking care. And you don't give a fuck what happens to these people. You don't. It is what it is. They should have never fucking tried to sacrifice you. They should have never sat up here and put work, try to put work on you. They should have never tried to, you know, harvest your energy to mooch off of you. They should have never tried to come for you, slander you, compete against you for what? When you are open to give advice and guidance to every fucking body, you're not a closed book. You're not a hoarder. You have the belief that everyone can fucking win. But these trifling motherfuckers are narrow-minded. And that's why they did what they did. Okay, anyway. You are ambitious. You're going to be successful. You're moving forward, boo-boo. All your hard work paying off. And these motherfuckers are mad. <laughs> Best thing you can do is laugh and keep it pushing, boo. Yeah, hell yeah. You done freeze yourself. Freedom. Freedom. I had to take it to church real quick. Real quick. Bring it back. Real back. Real back. Cool child. I love it. I love to fucking see it. I love to fucking see it. It's like these people are stupid. A real spiritualist knows not to pay, make a pet with the fucking devil. Not to make a pet with a fucking dark witch. Shit is always beguilement. It's always trickery. Always. Some of these people tried to make it seem like you were fucking selling your soul or making a pact with the devil. That's how you were being victorious. And they're realizing that is absolutely not fucking true. You solely put all of your faith into God, the most high, and forever will. Through good times, through difficult times, through worse times. You ain't never flake on God. That's why you winning, boo. That's why you winning. These motherfuckers fold. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you know. Let, let me go ahead and sell my soul. In many different ways you can do that. By not having any fucking integrity. No morality, no value. For oneself. Will do anything for some fucking money. Crazy, crazy. Or, or fame, or clout, or attention. Get the fuck out of here. People fail to realize that we all have to, you know, go back to our spirit selves. And it's like the devil, they allow the devil to illusionize them to think that this is fucking paradise. Yeah, you can have paradise on earth as long as you're willing to do it the right way. As long as you put your faith in God, first and foremost, as long as you're willing to learn the lessons, as long as you're willing to sacrifice those that need to be fucking sacrificed, and I'm talking about just letting them go. I ain't talking about no fucking rituals. That's what these motherfuckers do. When I say sacrifice, I mean let these motherfuckers go so that you can continue to move past these fucking obstacles that's, that's what these people these distorted masculine men and women are fucking obstacles that you need to sacrifice by detoxing releasing and letting them go so you can continue to move forward because they are in secret competition some of these motherfuckers are in, are in outright competition with you 
Okay, and some of these motherfuckers hide behind fake ass smiles. The fuck? No. Ain't happening. You winning. You winning, boo. You winning. Keep going. Keep going, baby. You doing great. I'm here to let you know that. The uh, Five of Wands. What's going on? It's salty as shit. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that they was going to, you know, try to have an energy exchange. Try to gain balance off of your fucking energy. Off of your fucking finances. Bitch, bye. Like, oh, we, we want you to be flexible. No. How about you get cut the fuck off? How about that? <laughs> want you to stress financially, okay, while they are on the come up. Fuck out of here. Some of you want a destiny swap and all. I'm trying to tell you. The fucking mental issues run deep with these people. Okay, babies? It do. Clarify strength, motherfuckers in their ego. Fuck out of here. Fake ass motherfuckers in their ego. The audacity. <laughs> the fucking audacity. Hell oh, yeah, motherfuckers trying to do magic on your um future. On your ships that are coming in. Bitch, bye. Okay? Keep fucking ego tripping because it ain't working. Okay, the angels are protecting you. I can't make this shit up, boo. An angel and a motherfucking devil. Angel will win all day, every day. The angels are protecting you. So it's like, yeah, we're doing, you know what I'm saying? Duh. These fucking degenerates are doing fucking magic trying to stop your ships from coming in. Trying to stop your future success. But bitch, all in their motherfucking ego, retards. And the angels is like, not the fuck today, bitches. The collective will go forth and enjoy everything that they're destined for. Bitches. <laughs> That's what I heard, bitches. <laughs> ain't a, ain't a, uh, hell yeah. Like you getting mad love too at your work. People lie you, boo. <laughs> People lie your ass. But the beautiful part is you love yourself. This is self love too. But yeah, hell yeah. You love yourself, boo thing. Period. But also with this ace of cups, people want to show you fake love because they burden. <laughs> they burden, boo. And it's only the tip of the iceberg for these motherfuckers. Okay. Ooh, child. They stress. They got problems up the ass. I'm hearing 99 problems. Okay. But you are not one of them. Because <laughs> you the fuck out of here. <laughs> Ooh, child. Like, let's be clear here. Ooh, they going through delays. They struggling. They struggling, baby. They want to come and show you fake love. Okay? Because they see that you get mad love when it comes to whatever you do for work. Period. Because you're on your destined path. And you love what you do. And you love, you know, your supporters, man. You love them. Okay? I know I love y'all. I do. All of you. For exactly who you are, okay? And don't stop being who you are. Because I love you just as you are, period. All right? Some of y'all, I see y'all on um, social media. And some of y'all, you know, I just, you know, appreciate the love you show me. You know I give it back. You know I do. It's all love over here. And I'm rooting for your success and your healing because we all deserve it. Why hate? I mean, you could just congratulate, baby. It's a better energy. The fuck? <laughs> Ace of Cups. This is Ace of Cups. Hell yeah, boo boo. I told you, you a star, baby. That tank song. I love that song. You a motherfucking star, baby. Period. Empress. Period. Period. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> and they burning. Hell yeah. This motherfucker's thought that they were going to strip you of your fucking title bitch never it don't matter how many rumors lies or untruths you pussy ass motherfuckers tell the empress will always fucking be the empress you will always be the star that you're destined to be you're destined to be a celebrity you're destined for fame you're destined to be an influencer own it and step into it confidently these motherfuckers hell bent on taking it now bitch Sit y'all trifling the asses the fuck down. That's why y'all burden now. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, the hangman. All the signs are here, okay? The hangman, the hang. Hell yeah, they like, damn, we sacrificed ourselves. 
Montessori's. We suck it for us ourselves. They don't know what the fuck to do. They stuck in life because they blocked. They blocked from you and they're blocked when it comes to their finances. They, they're blocked when it comes to whatever investments that they were investing in. They're blocked when it comes to trying to steal your fucking fate. You are probably fucking meant to be a celebrity. Hell yeah, you meant you have a high purpose. Damn, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I mean, hello. Hello. Some of these people knew your um like your destiny, your fate, knew that you were going to be this empress, this ten of pentacles before you did, and they tried to take it for themselves. Pussies got it fucked up. <laughs> that ass they got it fucked up maybe in the past you weren't aware of this you know you could have had insecurities you needed to heal you could have kept falling for these fucking devil ass people but you ain't on that type time no more you know exactly who the fuck you are and you're standing sitting residing confidently in it you will not be moved and you will not settle oh she's a rebel and you damn sure ain't settled Unless you got an emperor to match your empress. Brrr, to the pentacles. Okay. These motherfuckers are burdened in every fucking way. And you're not. Nope. Because even through all of what these nut ass motherfuckers put you through, you still were nurturing, gracious, kind. You still sat in your feminine energy. And you still fought. For your position and you earned it boo boo you earned it these motherfuckers are blocked from all angles and they should be fucking crying the fuck and i feel like you don't even feel sorry for them why when they could have just you know bit your ally they could have just you know conversated how how are you doing it like you know what what do i need to do to get where you at and you would have gladly let them know you ain't letting sh <laughs> These motherfuckers know now. Hell no. Hell no. Wow, wow. Hell no. You don't want nothing to do with these people. You don't hate these people and you don't hold no resentment. You're just realizing they don't exist in your world and you're moving forward. It's just that simple. Why waste negative energy of being hateful or resentful towards these people for what? You need to harvest that energy to keep manifesting your future. <laughs> Hell no. Exactly. And then all they're going to do is watch. Some of these people aren't going to try to be calculatory. They're going to try to calculate to get back into your energy. But you know the truth. And you're going to take this sword and cut their ass the fuck off. And spirit going to cut their ass if they think they're going to try to come toward your ass and do something. I'm trying to tell you, boo. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm trying to tell you. You are going up and they're going down. And that's how the cookie crumbles. When you fuck with someone that is of royalty. Some of these people knew you were of royalty and thought that they were going to take it before you became aware of it. Bitch, never. <laughs> never. Some of these people didn't do their homework and they didn't see that you were of this royalty. And they thought that they were going to swindle you. Bitch. Stop playing. It's like the first reading before this is about your person, and this is about you. That's that's crazy. And then I split it on the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is beautiful, baby. This is beautiful. You have some type of truth about a, a Queen of Pentacles, mother figure. Yeah, you ain't fucking with this mother figure. And this mother figure can act dumb all they want, but you already know what type time these motherfuckers be on. Okay, they was excited to try to ruin you or put you to rest. For some of you, you know what I'm saying, six feet under. Now, it's reversed, bitches. You're the only motherfuckers that will be put six feet under. And collective, you could care fucking less. Like, like, you're not heartless, but at the same time, you don't feel sorry for people like this that sat up here and did this shit to you for no reason. The fuck, like, I don't know how many times I have to say it, but these people could have just communicated with you on some, you know, good intent type-ish. Nope, it wasn't meant to be that way, though, babies. Okay, we're not going to worry about the shoulda, coulda, woulda. We're worrying about what the fuck is going on <laughs> right now. Right now, you're moving forward winning, baby. Uh, baby, it was a tough road. It was. But you got to realize, doing it the right way is more tougher 
than selling your soul and taking shortcuts to rely on a darker energy. No, boo-boo. You did it the right way. The right way. Hold on. What a break. Hell yeah, you did it the right way. Uh, two of Pentacles and Five of Wands. Yeah, King of Swords that wanted to keep you in denial. That wanted to Three of Swords you, because the King of Swords with Two of Swords is also the Three of Swords. That wanted to keep you in heartbreak. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. And was excited to do so, bitch. Now that you know the truth, everything is backfiring. So, you know, you're excited to see these motherfuckers go down. And, um, yeah, a lot of these people are going to hell because they already sold their soul to the demons that reside there. <laughs> it must be clear here. All for fame and recognition, bitch. Fuck out of here. These motherfuckers be forgetting this fucking world is temporary. Your soul is eternal. Like, there is no perishing of your soul. Only your body. Dum-dums. And some of these people renounce their religion to actually join secret society cults. Or they actually listen to people that are dabbling into this fucking, you know, black magic to try to help their finances. This, they're fucking, they, they get the worst consequences. People that denounce religion or denounce their spirituality to go and praise something that is fucking unclean that it, that's just the worst something that is just dark and untrustworthy like <laughs> yo and then they want to repent and oh god forgive me god like motherfuckers y'all are gonna sit and dwell on y'all motherfucking consequences <laughs> that's what the fuck gonna happen that's what's going to happen like, what did you think? Doing this hoogly boogly. So many people trying to come in your dreams, trying to see your next move. You know, constantly abusing their gifts and their power. Like, what the fuck did you think was going to happen? You was going to get a reward for doing this shit? Did you actually think that you were going to keep sacrificing people? It ends with this empress. Did you think that you were going to keep sacrificing certain empress energies or emperor energies? Like, are you fucking serious? It ends. Now. It ends now. Pussy ass niggas. Who this uh, king of swords? Someone that just wanted to... All I'm hearing like someone that only had some type of passion towards you. Someone that, you know would hype you up. Someone that would like give you false promises and hope. Like this could be family too. Like somebody that wanted to act like they had your best interest or wanted to start something with you. And then we have the page of wands is someone that could also, you know, wanted to be, make you out to be like a sneaky link or friends with benefits. All right. Yeah. Someone that had the gift of gab. Someone that had the gift of persuasion, but not... <laughs> Uh, they weren't as good as what they fucking thought because you saw right through their asses and you saw right through them as you continue to heal. Yep. Yep. Yeah, a friend. A friend or someone that you celebrated with, okay? Someone that wants to reconcile. Bitch, it's not happening. <clears throat> Family that want to reconcile, it's not happening. Friends that want to reconcile, exes, People that wanted to keep you as a friends of benefits. It's not fucking happening. Like, carry on. Okay? Carry on. And some of these people are being controlled by cult secret societies that have attached devils to them that are in full control of these people. Whoever these distorted masculines are. They're in full control. It's like these secret societies communicate with these demons that are attached to these distorted masculines and they control them. That's what I heard. I know the fucking rabbit hole goes deep, baby. And yeah, some of them are that deep. Devil and chariot. Hell yeah, boo boo. You're gonna get your divine inheritance. Okay, and that's what they were doing this for. Money, I can't make it up. Money. 
Oh Lord. Money is not the root of all evil. It's the love of money. It's what trifling ass motherfuckers like this will do for money. Yeah, they're the three of swords. I told you they're three of swords. This king of swords is heartbroken. <laughs> Because they really thought that you were going to be in denial. They really thought that, you know, they were going to beguile you. For some, they were in denial by, by whoever, you know, this fucking secret society or cult was. They were swindled, bamboozled. Yeah, that's how it happens. When you don't have a fucking mind of your own. When you're fucking desperate. When you go after someone that's anointed and godly. When you think that you're, you can play God. You get sat the fuck down, Okay. Some of these people are getting locked up, unalived, illnesses. Some of these people are going to, unfortunately, you know, be unalive due to like massive heartbreak is what I heard. Massive heartbreak. These people, it wasn't nothing to portray you. Nothing. They didn't think twice about it, bitch. And now they want to play the victim. Now they want to cry. It's like, you ever see the motherfuckers that sit up here and they cold-bloodedly ruin people's lives, you know, unalive people, and then when it's like the gun is pointed to their head or when the knife is at their jugular, they want, oh, please don't kill me. Please spare my life, please. You be like, really? You pussy-ass motherfucking <laughs> lame. You're begging for your fucking life when you sat up here and had no remorse on what the fuck you've done to the collective and other people. You 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 take that motherfucker like a man or a woman, you pussy. <laughs> That's what I heard. Like, what's some real shit? And I was, you know, doing my research. I listened to this other YouTuber. She's really good. Um, it's, she's called The Black Cauldron. And she was saying that, you know, voodoo practices was always started off as being good. But, of course, Western society always got to fucking make things dark. Always. Fucking Western society. When voodoo and voodoo dolls were meant to be for good luck and healing. Ain't that some shit? I'll be researching, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I have to. What the fuck, you know? I'm into as far as, you know, the readings and getting the knowledge and sending healing and protection and shit. What? Let's um, get some advice and we're going to close this reading out. Yep. You have spiritually ascended. Some of you guys have been initiated, period. You are too fucking spiritually strong, boo-boo. Hell yeah. People have developed partnerships and alliances to go against you. And little old you have fucking defeated all of these people. I love it. I fucking love it. Hell yeah. You are the light, boo-boo. You speak truth, light, and healing into everyone. And God was not going to allow these fucking insignificant ass human beings that were possessed by the creatures that they fucking made. Let's be <laughs> like God then made these motherfucking demons. Do you actually think God was going to allow these fucking demons and these insignificant degenerate ass irrelevant human beings fuck over someone that's giving healing light guidance and love to the world? Fuck no. <laughs> Like, 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 people be fucking crazy in the brain. I swear. Let's be clear here. No. Hell no. Exactly. And by you being spiritually strong, you're creating a strong foundation within you. And stability-wise. Period. You ain't letting nobody move you, baby. Ten. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles. You're letting no one, because you're the fucking hermit. You're wise beyond your years. You're fucking wise. You're an old soul, baby. You've been here before many times. But this is the time where you're going to get it right. And if you choose to come back next lifetime, it gets easier. Okay? Because you've done all the work in this lifetime. Or you completed it this lifetime. You know what I'm saying? So you, if you choose to come back, you get to dwell in immediate abundance with your children in the next lifetime. But that doesn't mean that you're not going to enjoy it this lifetime. Don't get it messed up. You're going to enjoy it this lifetime. But you won't have to go through none of the lessons because you've already learned it. And trust me, you will remember is what I heard. <laughs> if you choose. That's if you choose, baby. Okay? Let's get one more. 
Yes, passion ignited, okay? A lot of you guys are having a lot of passionate opportunities come towards you. The passion is being ignited within whatever business or relationship, okay? Hell, you motherfuckers just trapped. <laughs> you motherfuckers is trapped because you are being recognized, baby, for all of your fucking hard work, baby. Trust me. All that you endure is not in vain. You have to realize that. Please, babies. All that you have endured is not in vain. As you get recognized, as the crown is placed on your cranium, okay? Where your crown chakra resides, baby. They are trapped. And they did it to themselves. Yep, all because they wanted their finances to change. Now... They're destined to a poverty life for some unalive, for others. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to tell you, I heard when these people pass away, they will be in a like loop until judgment day and they will be condemned to hell. So some of these, I'm trying, oof, I mean, it, every, it's, I'm getting a lot, okay? That's why my, I'm like, okay, where do I start? Because in the Islam religion, it says, you know, if, if you basically do not do right, your grave will suffocate you until judgment day, basically. But if you do do right, and you thank Allah, and you know, Prophet Muhammad, <clears throat> then your grave will be as wide as the eyes can see and smell like, it just smells beautiful. Okay, and then other religions, I'm hearing other religions, like, you know, it's like these people will be on a fucking loop on a torturing loop until judgment day and then they'll be condemned to hell that's what i heard that's the two things i heard i grew up muslim so you know i'm hearing that those that you know are muslim and spiritual those that are christian or catholic it's like the people that condemn themselves are going to be like on this terrible loop of torture until judgment day this is fucking crazy. All because they wanted their money to change. It does some shit. Instead of working hard and doing the inner work like you. But, um, these motherfuckers ain't gonna do nothing when it comes to your new beginning. We have 11, 11, and 9. 5, 5, 5, you could be saying? Hell yeah. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. And a lot of you guys are feeling re-energized. -ener and you're feeling good. As you should, baby. As you should. Some of these distorted masculines will try to come back, will try to be calculated, block them, keep them blocked. Do not allow them back in. They don't deserve it. They have not changed. Listen to me. I don't care if they beg you. I don't care if they come in to your door snot nosed. I don't care if they are homeless. Do not, 5544, do not let them in. They have demon attachments, period, man, period. I'm hearing it. And that demon that is actually taking them over don't got no fucking sympathy for you. They don't. Even though they can't defeat you, they will beguile you. I'm going to leave it there, though, babies. You know I'm rooting for you. You know I'm proud of you. You are building a firm foundation within yourself. You're grounded within self first and foremost. So you're able to build a firm foundation within what you are passionate about when it comes to your career and when it comes to love. You are being initiated and recognized. And as you are being initiated and recognized, these trifling motherfuckers are being trapped, condemned to spiritual prison, actual prison, and much more. If anybody sends you death spells, it will be cast upon them or those that are closest to them. This is sad, but I mean, we must uh, disassociate ourselves from the empathy when it comes to these people. Even when I'm giving this reading, I have to disassociate myself from the empathy. Yes, I have to understand it from their point of view and their point of view is very dark is very skewed, is very narrow-minded, is very selfish, is very self-absorbed. It's not like any of these people, you know what I'm saying, had a gun to their head. They fucking willingly chose to do this. 
and they will willingly endure the consequences. I'm going to leave it right there. You know I'm, I love you to life, baby. You know you what? The dopest and we know this. Till next time, babies. You know I love you to life. Bye.